ABAPD underscore 2309 exam practice questions are available in the video for you to study. After you created a database table in the RESTful application programming model, what do you create next? A. A metadata extension. B. A projection view. C. A data model view. D. A service definition. The answer is B. In the RESTful application programming, wrap, model, after creating a database table, the next step is typically to create a data model view. A data model view in wrap, usually defined as a core data services, CDs, view, is used to structure the underlying data in a meaningful way for the application services. It provides a semantic layer over the physical database tables. What RESTful application programming feature is used to ensure the uniqueness of a semantic key? A. Validation B. Action C. Determination The answer is C. In RESTful application programming wrap within the sap context validation is the feature used to ensure data integrity constraints like the uniqueness of a semantic key during the validation phase checks are performed to ensure that data modifications adhere to defined business rules which would include the uniqueness of certain key fields which of the following is a generic internal table type a sorted table b index table c standard table d hashed table the answer is b in abap the term generic internal table type refers to a table type that is not specialized for a particular access pattern or ordering among the options provided standard table this is considered a generic internal table type it does not have any inherent sorting or unique key constraints making it the most generic form of internal tables in abap for what kind of applications would you consider using on stack developer extensions note there are two correct answers to this question a Applications that provide APIs for side-by-side -side SAP BTP apps. B. Applications that access SAP S4 HANA data using complex SQL. C. Applications that integrate data from several different systems. D. Applications that run separate from SAP S4 HANA. The answer is A B. On stack developer extensions are used when you need to extend the capabilities of an existing system with tightly integrated custom code that runs in the same environment as the core system. Here are the applications for which you would consider using on stack developer extensions. Applications that access SAP S for HANA data using complex SQL. On stack extensions are suitable for scenarios that require complex SQL queries executed within the same environment as the core SAP S for HANA system. Applications that integrate data from several different systems. If the integration logic needs to be closely coupled with the SAP S, for HANA system and potentially involves complex data processing that benefits from the high performance capabilities of being on stack, then on stack extensions would be appropriate. When processing an internal table with the statement loop at ITAB, ENDLOOP, what system variable contains the current row number? A. Psi index. 
B. Sai Subric. C. Sai Lino. D. Sai Tabix. The answer is D. When processing an internal table with the statement loop at ITAB. E N D L O O P. The system variable that contains the current row number is Cytabix. The Cytabix variable is a predefined field of the system structure Cy that holds the index or the row number of the current line in an internal table loop. The Cytabix variable is initialized with the value 1 for the first loop pass and is incremented by 1 for each subsequent loop pass. The Cytabix variable can be used to access or modify the current line of the internal table using the index access 12. In class CCL underscore class underscore A, you use the statement data var type asterisk asterisk asterisk. What may stand in place of asterisk asterisk asterisk? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. A. The name of a type defined privately in class CCL underscore class underscore A. B. The name of a data element from the ABAP dictionary. C. The name of a type defined privately in another class. D. The name of a domain from the ABAP dictionary. The answer is AB. In an ABAP class, the data statement is used to declare a variable with a specific data type. The possible types that can be used in place of asterisk 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 in the data statement are the name of a type defined privately in class CCL underscore class underscore A. This is correct. Within a class, you can declare variables using types that are defined within the same class, whether they are defined publicly or privately. The name of a data element from the ABAP dictionary. This is also correct. Data elements defined in the ABAP dictionary are global types that can be used in any ABAP program, including classes, to declare variables. What are some properties of database tables? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. A. They store information in two dimensions. B. They may have key fields. C. They can have any number of key fields. D. They can have relationships to other tables. The answer is AD. Database tables are data structures that store information in two dimensions, using rows and columns. Each row represents a record or an entity, and each column represents an attribute or a field. Database tables may have key fields, which are columns that uniquely identify each row or a subset of rows. Key fields can be used to enforce data integrity, perform efficient searches, and establish relationships to other tables. Database tables can have relationships to other tables, which are associations or links between the key fields of two or more tables. Relationships can be used to model the logical connections between different entities, join data from multiple tables, and enforce referential integrity 12. In ABAP SQL, which of the following retrieves the association field underscore airline name of a CD's view? A. Underscore airline name. B. Underscore airline name. C. At underscore airline name. D. Underscore airline name. The answer is C. In ABAP SQL, the syntax to retrieve the association field of a CD's view is to use the at sign followed by the association name and the field name, separated by a period sign. 
For example, to retrieve the association field underscore airline name of a CD's view, the syntax is at underscore airline name. This syntax allows the access to the fields of the target data source of the association without explicitly joining the data source as one. The other options are incorrect because they use the wrong symbols or formats to access the association field. When does SAP recommend to use a sorted or a hashed table respectively? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. A. A hashed table, when you read a single record and specify the complete key. B. A hashed table, when you read a subset in a loop and specify a part of the key from the left without gaps. C. A sorted table, when you read a subset in a loop and specify a part of the key from the left caret without gaps. D. A sorted table, when you read a single record and specify non-key fields. The answer is BC. SAP recommends using different types of internal tables based on the operation and access pattern to optimize performance. A hashed table. When you read a single record and specify the complete key, this is correct. Hashed tables are optimized for single record access where the entire key is specified. They offer the fastest access time for such operations because the hash algorithm computes the storage location of the record directly from the key. A sorted table. When you read a subset in a loop and specify a part of the key from the left without gaps, this is correct. Sorted tables are optimized for binary search when part of the key is specified, as long as it is from the leftmost part of the key and without gaps. Which internal table type allows unique and non-unique keys? A. Sorted B. Hashed C. Standard The answer is A. Sorted. Sorted internal tables in ABAP allow for both unique and non-unique keys. When defining a sorted table, you can specify whether the key should be unique or non-unique. Hashed. Hashed internal tables only allow for unique keys. Each entry in a hashed table must be unique with respect to the hash key used. Standard. Standard tables allow for non-unique keys and do not have any inherent sorting order. You can have multiple entries with the same key values.